Hey guys, Father Time here, also known as Jeff Richard, retired airline captain, and I retired off the 777. We were at the Boeing factory. That's the uh, where the wing is made. A couple of uh, paint hangers. This is free scenery wear by Freaky D, who is a Boeing engineer. And Freaky D's office actually is right in there. He does this as a hobby, all for you. Not only are they free. They have low frame per second drop off, honestly, um, and they are, he's an engineer by trade, he is very cognizant and a great flight simmer of uh, the importance of not creating a scenery pack that slows down your Microsoft Flight Simulator progress. It's got every Boeing aircraft, I didn't see a 7.5, these are KC-45s, it's a boom, uh, air refueling boom right there. Um, all the different airlines either have maintenance done like this, uh, looks like a UPS 76, Nippon Cargo 748 got some uh, 777s, you got a uh, 78 B52 Strata Fortress. Uh, what is that? Looks like an A330 or something. Uh, it snuck its way in over here in the Boeing ramp. You even put in a little uh, F22 Raptor by. Uh, Lockheed Martin, a couple of those bad boys out here. Nice. Usually uh, you'll you'll find a um, DC-3 parked somewhere. That's Mike's favorite airplane. It's probably somewhere around here, a DC-3. But anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here to do a little more work. Yesterday, yesterday we did the AirNav approaches. Oh, we're kind of crawling down the runway using the FSI panel. Today we're going to do... Uh, some ILS work, uh, Cat 3, hand-flown ILS, and maybe a go-around, but we really want to work on the Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator package. What you do here is, um, I'm not going to put anything in, anything, any fuel, because I want to show you one thing. I'm going to open up a FSI panel, and uh, I already came on and did a snapshot. So I'm going to jump ahead, I'm going to load snapshot, ILS 3, I'm going to select it, one, one six right move aircraft I'm going to show you this and then I'm going to show you how I did it for your viewing pleasure so I built this it's uh, going through it says my control preparing the approach it's doing everything it's, gonna, it's setting us up at 3000 on a dog leg that I built so I'm going to first start by showing you how it, how it works to do training and then we're going to go, go show you how I did build. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you, tell you, tell you what I told you. The old speech and writing technique. Um, a well-run simulator. Now, JP, the guy who owns the uh, Microsoft Flight, the uh, FSI panel, is an instructor in the sim and line check instructor. And he knows and I know as an airline pilot of 36 years and in the Air Force how important it is to run a smooth simulator for your trainees for a number of reasons, not the least of which is you will uh, keep them immersed so they perform better. It's less stressful for them if you're not flailing around. Secondly, you can get an extra approach or two. A well-run simulator, you can get an extra approach or two. So we are on position freeze right now, guys. We are actually, are we flying? We are flying in autopilot. I don't think I released the brakes, but maybe I did. Um, Anyway, here we go. And I just did that. We're on a th three mile a base here. Uh, yeah, dog leg. And it's flying in on in. And I'm going to go ahead and arm the uh, localizer. And what I'm going to do, this first one, guys, I'll just do a hand flown ILS. Then I'm going to show you exactly how I built this profile. So you could do, you want to practice landings, you're new to the 777, for example. I'm going to go out uh, flaps 15. It gives a little more margin. I notice the foot keeps coming up here. So speed below 230, flaps 15. Um, we're flying. And we've got LNAV, look arm, glide slowed arm, arm. 770 is set for Cat 1 ILS. 770. And that's all because I set it up earlier. So you can get on the runway, reboot it, put yourself back out there and do multiple approaches. Uh, multiple landings just get a lot more work in the sim rather than flying traffic patterns uh, all, the, all the way around. 
works much better. I'm going to arm the spoilers. Spoilers are armed. Auto brakes are three. Get the checklist ready to go. Before takeoff, you got to. We actually do this in the sim. We've got to override all the checklists in route descent. We usually start there with the altimeters and set the altimeters, but we already did that. So, um, and there it is, landing gear and flaps. We do have to do the exact same thing in the sim. Uh, we'll wait till about a dot and a half on the glide slope, then we'll get gear down flaps 20 because we are below speed 225. We'll end up with a 30 landing flap. You can see everything is set up. How did that happen? And we're going to show you that in just a minute. We'll be a 140 ref. 140 at 3,000 will be in the window. On low capture, you notice the, the localizer course came all the way in. Yeah, it's cool. So what we're going to do is land after this one. We're going to reset the sim back to 16 right, put back in this preset, and uh, do them over and over and over. It's exactly like they do in the simulator to get maximum approaches. One might be to a go around. There's a dot and a half on the glide slope, just as a technique. I'll go gear down, flaps 20. Yeah, if you have a good sim instructor, one who's very good with the sim, man, it makes a difference for a number of reasons, as I mentioned. Continuity, immersion, uh, and the ability to get an extra approach or two each, each of you. And sometimes, you know, some, it's, it's the way you can pass your FAA check ride. That guy ran the sim so efficiently. He got you one more V1 cut instead of saying, hey, why don't we do another training? You can go home with your family. Uh, below 200, flaps 25. And we're below 180. You can go all the way to flaps 30. And we'll set the approach speed at 140. And before landing, checklist. All right, clear, landing clearance. We've got a runway heading set, 3,000 set. Low glide slope in green. Speed is set. What could go wrong? Um, if we do an auto land, you're going to get a uh, well. You're going to get a land three. It's going to do an auto land check at 1,500 feet. Land three means all three autopilots are working. Land two means two of the three. And you got to go to a big cat two, category two, or cat three A, I believe, with a 50 foot decision height. All right, I'm going to uh, hand fly it in. Now I'm having trouble getting a good landing rating out of FSI panel. I usually am in the zone, get a decent touchdown, but I am having trouble. This is where your nose gear is, right there. Maybe I can adjust my view here. A little. That's where your nose gear is, but I'm, I'm getting uh, some uh, deviations from center line. I don't know what that is. That was my frames per second. I've got this new uh, program, something loss, with a little duck um, that I'm trying to get stutter free. I do notice this PMDG flies, uh, use a lot less frames per second than some of the other airplanes. Nicely done. All right, so we're going to fly it on in, knowing it's going to get more sense. This 1,500 feet. Two and a half degrees at flaps 30 works pretty good. About three degrees at flaps 25. Four degrees at flaps 20. Uh, sink rate, we're going to, um, in the flare, and the break in the sink, uh, in the 300, it's about 40 feet. You start bringing in the back pressure. 200, it's more like around 30 feet. We're not getting the land three because I get the autopilot off. Approaching minimums. All right, come on. Yeah, I usually get off unsafe because it's not on Minimums. center line. The rest of it's okay. The landing distance. I'm gonna get it on center line this time. One hundred. I'm going a little low on purpose. Fifty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Center line. Center line. Center line. Ah, I'm gonna get hammered for that. Look at that. Gonna get hammered. So I'm gonna get a decent touchdown. 
in the zone, a little bit long, but I'm gonna get uh, told I have a unsafe landing. Here we go. I'm gonna go back with the FSI panel. Landing report survey says training required because I de deviated from the center line. So satisfactory landing distance, first order of the runway at 3,000 feet, decent touchdown rate. Uh, touchdown indi indicated their speed good banks good so training is required because of deviation from uh, training I'll take it I'll take it um, but now if I wanted to go out on final load snapshot I can go right just like this and go right back out and do it again and again and again but let me reboot the sim and show you how I built this I'll be right back yeah, while well, this boots up, this is the program I'm using uh, lossless scaling on my MD-11 videos. I get a lot of complaints. It was really stuttering. Um, lossless scaling, and I've uh, some, someone even sent me a link, which I really appreciate to get it started. All right, so um, let's see how we did this. We'll go ready to fly, and we're on, uh, we should be on 16 right. doesn't really matter as long as we're at uh, pain field. We'll boot up. No need G GSX. We are on uh, 16 right at Payne Field. You go to our FSI panel. Yeah, it should have KPAE. Should have already known we were here. KPAE. Select the airport runway 16 right. Don't know why it didn't, but uh, there we are. 777-300. Uh, um, see all the failures we could do because it's fully integrated. Actually, you guys do this for you guys, you know, um, Mad Dog, uh, PMDG, 777 and 73, all these three fly-by-y headwinds and indie builds, Phoenix, and uh, those are the other ones that can do full failures. You load the box for you and you do the scenarios up here. I've done this on many other videos, so I'm not going to bother going through it. These are the ones, consider them in beta, MD-11 is well along in beta, an, air, an airplane close near and dear to my heart, um, and a project near and dear to my heart, coming along nicely. I know. Wow, uh, we're working on some things, but man, it's a great, great group and a great airplane. You guys are gonna love it. Um, and they, they just have have got to get a little further along in the, with FSI panel to have it be able to do all of the uh, malfunctions and everything. Here are the scenarios: I got push to talk enabled. Uh, you got auto tune and next frequency enabled. I've got flows, cockpit flows enabled. Um, so I can basically build a. Uh, a, a, a flight of they would call it first officer to go with you and I also get a next frequency auto tune which is great all right so how did I build that now you're gonna go to snapshots you'll see that um, no snapshot I've deleted them all so we want to go out and we want to fly let's say we want to go out and fly the ILS Zulu 770DH we want to put ourselves on the left down one. how did I do that so um, what I'm gonna do is go select the fix and I'm gonna go left hand vectors See the x-axis and the y-axis. How long a final do we want? Um, it's just, just remembering my own one. You can click it. You say, I want a 13-mile uh, final. There you go. And the dog leg right there. Yeah, I want to give myself a little time, but that's that's too much. Let's go uh, six miles there. Now, it's going to put you on a um, altitude of a three-degree glide path. So it, it computes how far you are from the field three two so it's thinking we're 15 miles from the field or so 14 miles it's going to put you there if you want something different you can um, like I would like to be at 3,000 it's not going to let me do that for some reason but I can go to 3,700 3,700 because what I want to do is I want to intercept the final at 3,000 so it's 37 it's the best it'll do I'm going to validate that that's the y-axis and the x-axis I did that through left hand vectors all right we've already dealt with the quick sets on last video we did our nav approaches today's ILS's and uh, validate that there we go and move aircraft uh, your aircraft actual weight is above the max landing weight oh uh, set max lane uh, new load and go here how much fuel do you want 44,000 is fine what's this it's in red put it in green somewhere like that looks good update the load everyone's happy now it's setting that all in the box if you were to look down here preparing your aircraft there it goes and don't touch anything it's loading everything for you I'm not doing anything this is the program doing it 
Yeah, go over to uh, FSI panel, pick up this package for $50, get the advanced edition. Highly recommend it. Um, once you get a, a base leg or a dog leg set up, you can go over and over and over again. You, you, you probably don't want the short final unless you just want to do a flare or go rounds. You kind of want the intercept to practice configuring the airplane. That's why I put myself on this this dog leg to final. It's still loading everything. You can see uh, my control. Do, don't touch anything. Hands and feet clear. Let it go through its gyration. Right now I see that it's loaded the ILS Ewok. We might have to change that. We want to go over weave, so we, I think that's the Yankee. We'll have to put it in the Zulu. We'll do that after it pops back up. You can see that it's configuring also the uh, mode control panel. Airplane's getting down to 3,700. So this is cool. So we're, oh, my uh, gear's down. That's why the handle's going up and down. My gear at home is down because we're on vectors. It's going to be a flaps five. So once you build the preset, you can pop back out, back and forth, back and forth. It just takes a little while to build the preset. It's well worth it. It says, hold your brakes for three seconds. Consider this position freeze. We are on position freeze right now. So what I'm going to do is go to the box. I'm going to go FMC. I'm going to go uh, approaches, departures and arrivals, and I want the Zulu. Zulu, because that's the one with the Cat 3, which we we're going to do this time. I'm going to go legs, web V, insert it. That looks good. Uh, I'm going to take a look at my speed. One flaps 30, about a 144. Right now, while you're on freeze, I want to be down to 3,000 when I intercept. You can do this. You're on position freeze, which is just like the sim, actually. I'll just get us down to three. And I'm letting it do its thing. It's going down. I can set my speed at 180 if I want while it's doing this. Or I'm in position freeze. Yeah, the sim is just like this. It can always hold your brakes for three seconds to take control. Letting it do its thing. Now, I could have intercepted at 3700 and done this. But remember, what I'm doing is building a snapshot. I'm going to show you how I built that first one. This is exactly how I did it. Then I deleted it. Here we come. Now, the first time you do this and you build it, it will take 20 or 30 seconds a minute to build it, but then you can get yourself right back in, in the game. And like I said, it's great for practicing, configuring, slowing down, uh, getting all the procedures down for the RNAV like I did last video, uh, or the ILS, uh, hand flying one, then a go around, a bunch of go arounds. It's great. It's great for that. All right, here we are. We're all set. I like it. So um, I'm happy. I can even go LNAV here. And uh, it'll come back. When it comes back, I'm going to have spoilers are not armed. Let me do this. Spoilers are armed. Gears up. Flaps are five. 3,000 feet, 180 knots. Jog leg. We're in LNAV. Now let's build a FSI panel profile. Take a snapshot. Give it a second. We're going to call this the uh, 16 right ILS Zulu. And we'll just say this is for training. And that's what we're going to call this one when we reloaded it. Save the snapshot. Wait till it uh, comes up. Wait till you get the message that it's saved. Like I said, it's well worth taking the time. This is how I did it. For presentation purposes, I thought it'd be cool just to show you how I did it ahead of time. Uh, show, show you the final product ahead of time. Looks like it might be thinking about it. There it is. Snapshot was successfully saved. Okay. And come back over here. Hold the brakes. Two seconds to take control. 1001, 1002. All right, we've got the autopilot on. LNAV going over I'm gonna arm the approach and this one we're gonna let do a cat three and see if it does better so let's go put the weather way down positive rate of climb yeah you're positive rate of climb. here we go weather 
take off the live weather bring the ceiling way down forty four feet density bring that bad boy up that didn't work did it still again I never changed the uh, the light I never changed the weather to uh, overcast you guys knew that though didn't you and you didn't even tell me all right we'll go down to like yeah down to 143 feet good density bring that up a little bit good all right that's good so here we go we've got loke arm glide slope arm uh, these category threes just so you know um, the fo stays inside the whole way all the way through rollout captain is usually pilot monitor here we go um, we are about to intercept the look lo that's not descending um, he, at 300 feet starts going inside outside the parameters are a third of a dot on the glide slope uh, third of a dot on the course half a dot on the glide slope plus 10 knots or minus five knots you see any, either pilot sees anything they don't like the, the expression is go around it's not a hope and a prayer where you say something then you, you pray you notice that the course slews around as soon as you get load capture there we go now with, with the autopilots on you'll get a land three it means all three autopilot channels are working at uh, 1500 feet it'll do the check and do it and then you get flare and retard uh, under here to let you know the aircraft is going to auto land on final we'll, we'll come back to that so that's how you set up the snapshot I showed you um, at the beginning when we hand flew that one how you can just pop yourself out multiple approaches now I showed you how I built it we're gonna come in do an auto land and then we'll uh, hopefully we'll pop ourselves back out there and we'll do a go around and uh, call it a day now my go around yesterday you, know, you got the toga button here um, I clicked it didn't exactly do what I wanted it to do um, I ended up having to autopilot auto throttles off kind of cycle the throttles at home to get it to do but I'm gonna try it again today because I'm open to the fact either it's not modeled yet properly or I'm doing it wrong but um, on this airplane uh, let me see here we can go flaps 15 below uh, 215 flaps 15 since we're flown, uh, flying below flaps five speed you get stable nice and early on these auto lands guys we'll see if the airplane gets uh, on center line unlike me here comes this glide slope gears down uh, speed below 225 flaps 20 set speed 160 now what I should have in here guys and it's not really that important right now I should have radio altimeter set at zero feet that's what we use in American Airlines set our radio all the way down to zero some airlines will set a hundred foot just for an alert height all right all right speed below 200 flaps 25 set speed we'll go about 150 for now and we're below 180 didn't go all the way to flaps 34 landing checklist so spoilers are on auto brakes are three you can glide slope capture load capture 3000 set in the window runway heading is set 145 is the rough speed 144 checklist four lane the checklist is complete remember you got to override all these checklists in the simulator we, it happens all the time there it is for landing checklist is complete just a simulator function all right so we're um, 2100 feet we've got runway heading set we've got miss approach altitude set miss approach is in the box let's talk about go around procedures if I were to say go around it's going around flaps 20 then it's positive rate gear up set miss approach altitude which is 3,000 at 400 above the ground we can go back into LNAV at a thousand above the ground I think there's a white bar here I'm not sure if it, they modeled it 
uh, we start cleaning it up either in VNAV or level change. That's how we do it. Probably fly out a 210 because the misapproach is a holding pattern. This is fun stuff, man. Fun stuff. We'll let it auto land, see how it does. There's 1500, so it's going to do an auto land test. Five, four, three, and there it is. Land three. If it said land two, we could have set a 50 foot decision height, but we really have to go around and land two. There's low capture, light slow capture, and we're stable at 1000 speed. Half a dot, third of a dot on the localizer, plus or minus 10 knots. Plus 10 knots, minus five. Traffic. That's it. Traffic. FO stays inside the whole time at 300 feet. The captain starts going in and out. Anybody notices anything, the call is go around. I see the runway. Captain really shouldn't be looking out there just yet, but I did. And we're going to see if this one gets a good landing and lands on center line and auto land. Remember, this is where your nose gear is, where the speed tape is. I'll keep the autopilot on until it starts to deviate from center line. 300 in and out. 200. FO will be calling these altitudes out. 100. Anybody sees anything that's autopilot off? 50. 30. 20. 10. See, it says a little left of center line to me. Nice touchdown to show off. Coming into reverse. Autopilot's still on. If I notice it's starting to deviate, I'm going to turn it off. Auto brakes are off. 80 knots coming out of reverse. Parking brake set. Let's get our landing grade now. Let's see how he did. I think it's going to be a good touchdown. And a little bit left of center line in the zone. This deviation from center line needs training. Satisfactory in the touchdown. Nice landing. And perfect. Yeah, it did a little better than me. A little better than me. Show off. Uh, that's our landing report. Load snapshot. I'm going to select it. Move aircraft. Preparing your aircraft. And back out we go. We'll do another one to a go around, guys. And uh, see if it works this time. Or if it's just me. And it should be moving us out. We don't do anything here. You can see that it's uh, right here. It's loading the panel state. When it says loading the panel state, that means it's putting in that saved program. Don't touch anything. You can see that once you have it and you have that saved, you say, okay, today I'm going to really work on my go-arounds. Today I'm going to really work on my landings. You might have that saved in there from a long time ago. Go to uh, KPAE or go, go to your FSI panel saved snapshots and then go to that field. Say, oh, I got this one. And go to that field, load that snapshot. Now you can do multiple approaches, landings, go-arounds, uh, whatever you want, engine outs. Um, you can also load states uh, on the runway. So on uh, downwind, you can load it on a, you know, on a base leg or a final. Um, it's really a cool the snapshot feature. It's really cool. But we'll do a go-around here, um, and then we'll call it a day. I probably won't bring it back around for a landing, guys. Now you see how to do it, though. That's the snapshot feature. Um, yesterday, when we did the RNAVs, we did uh, all the quick sets, which is these, um, with pre-can sets. This one we did via um, this the select fix. I don't want to push it, but select fix, and then we, we defined what we wanted, right? And then we talked about being on position freeze when it loads, and then while it's on freeze, you can do vertical speed, get it where you want it, take a snapshot when it's all set, set and stable, uh, make sure your before landing checks uh, where, you're at, where you are. Um, oh, by the way, when you uh, select over here, if you select vectors, that's flaps 5, the truck in the 777. You set uh, flaps 30, that's uh, what, what it will be um, when, you, when you set your position. And uh, another one is clean, so that's what that means. Vectors is flaps 5, clean is clean. The other one is flaps 30, gear down, flaps 30. 
uh, depending on what configuration. I digress, but that's something I meant to mention. All right, hold your brakes for 30 seconds. Aircraft ready. Aircraft is ready. Okay, here we go. Looks like we're flying. Autopilot's on. We're in LNAV. I'll go uh, approach slant arm. Loking glide slope capture. Yeah, if you want to see the um, stuff that we did yesterday on the RNAV, that video is available. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Link in the description. It's just showing us a little low here, guys. A little bit low. That's because the altimeter is incorrect. So um, that's something I must have done. There it is, 3003. Okay, that's better. Um, 305. Yeah, I'll leave a link in the description for a couple of things. Uh, my RNAV approach video and uh, FSI panel website. And my Discord link will be down there. I would recommend joining the FSI panel Discord. All this stuff, there's tons of videos on there by JP. As I mentioned, JP is an airline captain, a sim instructor. Uh, heck of a guy incredibly active on uh, his Discord channel, very interactive. If you do a, um, a scenario, when you load a scenario here, I'll let it fly itself in here. Open Scenario Manager, Aircraft Type, say Generic, and you do the TFJ Boston and you say YouTube Tutorial. Um, there might be All right, one. guys, Father Time, going to get oh, right into And look this. who it is. FSI Panel 2020. If there's an example, you can do that. Uh, download the flight plan. We talked about this ad nauseum. Tremendous program. I love that thing for streaming because it's uh, like that same without being terrified. Okay, here we come. Uh, speed below. We're going to go. We're flaps 15. We're going to go flaps, uh, flaps 5. Below 230 flaps 15. Give ourselves a little margin. Great job by PMDG, guys, honestly. Uh do we not? Yeah, we should have a glide slope here. Yeah, frequency is tuned. Good. We got, uh, just wonder why we don't have low capture yet. Let me try something here. I don't have that on there why are we not getting low capture hmm oh there it is low capture interesting I was something I must have been doing wrong here Guys, if you um, don't know why the sim's not moving when you use an FSI panel, a lot of times it's your parking brake. Make sure you get your parking brake on. All right, so this is going to be a go-around to review what it's going to be. I matter of fact, I'll go gear down. We got that down. And speed below um, 225, flaps 20. Start slowing it on down. So you're going around. Our verbiage at American Airlines was going around toga. Toga. Flaps 20. Positive rate gear. So we're going to be at flaps 30. So it's two clicks up. 25, 30. All right. Speed below uh, 200 flaps 25. And speed below 180 flaps 30 for landing checklist. So we see the spoilers are not armed. Well, there's ROM, auto brakes to three, checklist. Yeah, usually what we do is on base leg, we uh, override all the checklists when you're doing the simulator. Start with the descent checklist, and the reason you do that is to get the altimeter set. And there we are, four landing checklist is complete. All right, we're set up for Mr. Pros. We got. Heading in there, uh, altitude should be 33,000. 
Lights up capture, low capture, 1,500 feet. It's going to do an auto land check. We'll get land three. Somewhere in there, we're not going to like what we see. We're going to go in around. And it's going to be going around Toga. Flaps 20. Positive rate, gear up, set miss approach altitude. 400 feet above the ground. This is American Airlines procedures. We'll go L nav. It's going to fly this. And 1,000 feet of ground, we can go V nav and start cleaning it up normally. And so that's procedures we're planning on using. But if it's not doing what we want it to do, it's autopilot, auto throttles off, get those thrusts up to uh, go around power. You can see ground power is armed. And uh, find a way to get those throttles up and uh, speed select up around 210. All right, let's get our speed back. That would have been nice, right? 1,000. Stable. We're uh, plus 10 minus uh, 5, half a dot, third of a dot on the vocalizer. Coming on in, what could go wrong? On the airplane, we'll try it. You should be able to go toga going around just using that button uh, or the, uh, as far as the air aircraft goes. Right here. Our runway's in sight, but somewhere in here, tower says American go around. Toga, going around. It's working. Positive rate, uh, flaps 20. It's two clicks. You see it coming up to 20. Positive rate, gear up. Set miss approach altitude, it's set. Tell me you're on the mist. Above 400 feet above the ground, you're going to go L nav, and it's going L nav. Here it goes. And you can actually start going uh, VNAV here too. Above a thousand, it's lowering it. There it goes. Usually we wait to a thousand feet, but you see this white bar? That's a thousand feet. We start cleaning up there. I just didn't like it, it was getting a little slow. This flaps 20 speed, flaps five. Flaps five speed. Right there, flaps one. And we're going to hold, we'll hold at 210, I'm going to speed intervene, 210, and we'll enter the hold in LNAV, VNAV, and speed intervene to 210 with flaps 1. Level in a 3, and oh, that was beautiful. Oh, I feel so much better, so much better. Okay. Uh, file time. That's that's about it, guys. I'll leave the links to FSI panel. I'll leave the links to my RNAV video. A uh, much better go around. I feel much better uh, about that. Um, great job, PMDG. Great job, FSI panel. File time's out. Don't forget to subscribe. Miss you guys already. <laughs>